with electronic stuff because I have just recently myself gone to the past to kind of two two or three years and developed more appreciation by more of the bands I've heard. So I completely agree with that statement. Yeah, and it's great. To, it's great to learn some new. new oh, tricks. absolutely. There's 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 nothing but fun stuff. So yeah. next up, we're gonna get to another one of our favorite uh, bands who just do such a good job alive. And this is obviously Mr. Susan, and the song is called Ha! And it's, <laughs> and it's off their EP, the Bell Dominant Combination, as well as this live EP, which you can get up on their band camp. Dig this. <laughs> And that was Mr. Susan with Ha! Live. And uh, we've heard before off the Bell Dominant Combination, but still a good live. And it's still uh, amazing me how well they can produce that stuff live as well as in studio. I was just thinking the same thing. First of all, they're really brave to play that kind of stuff live and, and really brave. 
brave to record it and release it. And it sounds awesome. And I say that because they're such good musicians and it just, they can pull it off. It's great. Yeah, I'm always impressed by anybody that can pull off an odd time signature like that and have it flow and sound natural. It's yeah. really well done. They're yeah. great musicians. Sorry. They're all great, but their drummer's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> And I think if I'm if I'm correct, he's he's the the most vocal one out out of all of them. Uh huh. And because uh, I remember during the interview, uh, a bit, bit more of a smart mouth on him was funny though. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> next up, uh, we get time for I think two more for this part. Uh, next up, we're gonna get to uh, Static and Verona. This one's called the Black Windows. Dig this. <laughs> Static and Verona, Black Windows. Uh, that's a good tune. I always enjoy Rob's vocals. It always uh, brings a smile to my face because he always does such a good job. And it just it's uh, it's, it's easy easy listening. Meaning like you know he's he's it's really kind of easy to get into, and it's not it's not hard on the ears like some bands can be. And 
So I always love his flow and just love his melodies. Like he always seems to switch it up pretty good. Yeah, I was just commenting off air. I, I love seeing that he's on the show because I, I don't actually have, have to think about anything to say because I can just sit and listen to it and enjoy it. It's just he's just perfection. Uh, the vocals are great. His orchestration is wonderful. The songwriting is just stellar, and I just enjoy every bit of it. He has a real knack for writing memorable melodies um, with nice changes of throwing in an unexpected change every once in a while to keep your interest. It's, he's a great songwriter. You know, I agree with that, Nolan, because I was chatting with him earlier today, and uh, he's actually going to have two new songs for us. Oh, good. In the next few weeks, we'll have a new one next weekend and the week after, so the last one of the year. So, And this will also be at the new album, so he's going to send us uh, send them our way. And uh, just because he says, no, I respect you guys' opinions, so I really want to know what you think, because sometimes it's nice to have a second set of years since he's the only one doing all this stuff together. Yep. So uh, I was like, well, I'll absolutely kind of send it along. We'll be happy to play it. And uh, just a few things just before we get into the last song of uh, part one is uh, I'm not sure I mentioned it last week. I thought I may mention it to you, but not on air. Is the band the Queen's Minions have uh, officially called it quits. And they'll be doing their last show, I believe, on December 9th. They do have an EP that uh, they told me about in uh, September, which will still come out and just taking a lot longer than they expect to come out. And uh, so uh, they'll be saying it our way. So um, it'll be good to hear that. And it sucks they broke up. But uh, what they pretty much said was they're working on different projects, that sort of thing. And, you know, that sort of thing happens. And the other sad news I have, unfortunately, is High School Sweetheart is no longer a band anymore either. Oh, my and, yeah, gosh. Yeah, and posted that on Facebook today, kind of citing that, you no, know, there's differences, obviously, uh, within the band. And kind of some people, I guess, one or two people kind of lost sight of why they were doing this to begin with. And... You know, it, it sucks, but kind of that's the way it is. But on a brighter note, uh, Nick and Anne, formerly of High School Sweetheart, will be joining us next weekend for New Music Saturday. Yay. So, the, so they'll be they'll be in-house to help us uh, critique some music, so that'll be exciting to have them back over to hang out. And, uh, yeah, so the, I know it's a little bit of bad news, but, you know, and unfortunately, sometimes, sometimes this stuff happens and there's nothing really we can do about it. Yeah. But that that's the reality of it. So I'm thinking here, I got a lot of the songs I have tonight are long songs. So actually what I'm going to do here is this will be perfect. We'll finish up with uh, Gypsy Ghost. This song is called The Played Out. Dig this. <laughs> Fresh meat, 
right on. Gypsy goes.